Hey guys, today it's me Michael from Elvrida and I'm going to be showing the second part of my quest for the faded wizard hat. This is the really annoying bit guys, so once you've had these quests in that we did in the last video, you will be headed off to kill these, not kill, but kind of kill, these little, um, these little satty guys. If you look above your spell bar, you'll see a little polymorph ability, use that on the satyrs and then simply squidge them. It's a very easy quest and I quite enjoyed it actually, it's quite funny the way you squidge them. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, after you hand in that quest, you'll be given another quest to go and get the tome. And it's kind of annoying because you have to find the right one, but when you find it, it's fine. So, after this, you'll be majified off to a tower. This is an interesting quest. All you need to do is basically jump on the blue things, but remember to collect, click on the towers on the way. I fell down once, but it was fine. So, basically, click on the little towers. And when, once you've got five stacks, you can basically just fly up, but yeah, it's quite a fun quest. This is a troll bit. You'll be given you'll be given three quests, fire, ice, and shadow. What you need to do on the fire bit, which is what I did first, is um, basically go to the place where there are no fire runes and jump. When they explode, you'll be given one stack of fire dancing. Keep doing this until you have ten stacks, and ta-da, the quest is finished. It took me quite a while to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy. Also, just a little tip, you can follow the blood elf guy who dances, he always gets it right, and then you'll get the easy stacks. This will probably take you about 10-15 minutes if you're bad at it, but I was so pro. There we go, you also get a little achievement if you take no damage. Next, do the frost bit. Now, this is really annoying. Basically, there are three ice orbs which you need to avoid, but you need to jump around the ice orbs and pick up the little white icy thingy mobs. Once you have 20 stacks of that thing you'll complete the quest but believe me it takes a long time. Jump on the blue rune things to get a bit of an advantage but it's still really hard annoying. Just a little piece of advice, only get the only get the little blue runes on the outside. Eventually you'll get it. Okay the next thing is shadow. What you need to do is lure these shadow guys who always chase you into the purple runes. They come out of the random portals but it's quite hard to predict one, which one they'll come out of. All you need to do is simply like kite them through the through the little purple runes, but it's the easiest one out of all three of them. Just what what once you lure one of them through a portal, you'll get a stat called Shadow Bait. But if 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 the shadow thing hits you, then one of those stacks will go away. Do this twenty times and ta-da, the quest is done. The annoying part is over. Okay, next you'll be told to go to a mage tower. And you'll be you'll be given another quest. Now don't just fly straight towards the quest the quest location. Go through the portal and you will die. Now take the quest and try and talk this guy into helping you, which is a small dialogue, and then accept the quest from the spirit giver. Then what you'll need to do is fly all the way back to where you started, up in the north railway thingy mob. You we are almost near the end of the quest line, so don't worry. Not not too long until you can get your sexy vanity item. So talk to this guy and the big battle will occur. Well, it's not very big, just kill kill the dragon. Return the quest and you'll get a blue, which isn't very useful. And then take two quests from the goblins. See, these quests take quite a while, but eventually well, you'll get them. Use the keys to open the cages and kill the dragons. Fairly self-explanatory, but if you want to, you can use the frost thing on the dragons to make them fall down, but I never did. We are, we are on the verge of getting our sexy vanity item, which is amazing. Hand these quests in, and eventually you'll get the quest from the dragon to fly back to Azara, and then talk to the goblin, and you will get your sexy wizard hat. By, by equipping this and using it, you will turn into a random other thing. As you can see, I get turned into a blood of male. Not what I was expecting, but still quite good. Anyway, thank you for watching this series, guys. I hope you enjoy. If you're looking out for more fun stuff like this and arena videos and tutorials. See you later, guys.